Welcome back to America's hit game show, Hardcore Lyrics or Terrorist Manifesto. The rules are simple. We'll be showing 14 quotes to four contestants, and they will have to figure out if the quote was written by a bloodthirsty psychopath or a terrorist. <laughs> Let's get ready to play. Welcome to Hardcore Lyrics or Terrorist Manifesto. Is it supposed to be that blown out? I'm going to show you a quote, and you have to guess if it's either a hardcore lyric or from a terrorist manifesto, interview, quote, etc. Now, the quotes are not going to be exactly word for word because we don't want to make it obvious when a line is rhyming that it would obviously be a lyric. So we have taken a few liberties, but the core message is there each time. Perfect. Sounds, sounds, sounds good. I have no politics and no ideals, just a mindless drone waiting to spread terror on the innocent of the land. You know, I feel like that's a little bit too cinematic to be a real terrorist. I feel like that might be a hardcore lyric only because a terrorist would never get that clever. I'm gonna go with a manifesto. I don't think these are lyrics. My thinking process here is this is just a straight like oddball, like throwaway, like, oh, it sounds like a terrorist, but it's definitely a hardcore line. I honestly have no knowledge of any hardcore bands, so <laughs> that's where my knowledge about drops off. I'm gonna go with terrorist on that one. Is that your final answer? Yes. That's my final answer. What is a hardcore band? Yes, I think that is a hardcore lyric and not a terrorist manifesto. You're right, that was a hardcore lyric by a band called Pure Disgust. Awesome, great, 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 great. Let's see if you can keep the streak up. Nice. All oh, my friends are gonna be very disappointed in me. <laughs> You're in a hardcore band, aren't you? Yes. Some of my friends are friends with people who played in Pure Disgust, so uh, they're gonna be very upset with me. That was a hardcore lyric by the band Pure Disgust. Hopefully you do a bit better on this next one. <laughs> I don't think I will. <laughs> I cannot be happy in this body. It isn't possible. It wasn't meant to be. Hmm. What kind of terrorist? Do you, is there a certain type of terrorist that we're working with? In All this? kinds of terrorism. Because in my head, a terrorist is someone who beats somebody, and I'm not really thinking about like maybe someone who just shoots up a school or something. That would be included as as terrorism under under our definition. Okay, a school shooter could also be terrorism. Mass acts of violence. Right. On the public square, like violence everywhere. I think this is a terrorist. I feel like these are these are really signaling lyrics, but I feel like in this context, it's probably from a manifesto. I'm thinking it's a terrorist here. It sounds like something someone has some sort of ill will for other people would say. That sounds like Elliot Roger. <laughs> Let's go with terrorist. That was a terrorist, but it was the wrong terrorist. This this was so you got it half right. This was the Danny Phantom shooter who was um also uh, a brony. The more you know. Huh. Oh, is is that the sh who drew Danny Phantom women? Like he yes. he, he he wanted to have with Danny Phantom characters? Yes, he was also a brony. And he shot up a grocery market. You, you really know your, your mash is, is It's gonna serve you well. Thank you. I didn't ask for this. I didn't want this. I didn't start this war, but I will strike back. That sounds like it could be like a pit call out, but it could also just be from a crazy person. <laughs> Whoever said this quote wasn't someone who was writing from the heart. This is someone who was uh, writing from a very destructive place. I think a terrorist said this before they did something really sick in the head. A lot of hardcore lyrics refer to like a struggle. There's a always a war to be fought with somebody. Uh, so I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with lyric. I know a lot of I can think of a lot of songs that would have something like this in them. Like, if it was a mentally ill person, it'd be someone that's very manipulative. So, like, it's swaying it. I gotta go, I gotta go terrorist again. That was a terrorist. That was Elliot Rogers, the David Dobrik of Incel Dumb. <laughs> oh. Sorry, God that was by damn it. Elliot. I by even referenced him! What did Elliot Rogers do? Uh, he, he murdered a couple of people on the streets of Vista Vista. Mm. I am a disposable being who will f*** all life. 
I see a terrorist saying this before he goes and f up a bunch of lives, but I almost think that's too easy. I think a, a terrorist who said that wouldn't be taken as seriously. That's a hardcore lyric. That is someone who wants to be a terrorist. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with lyric. I can think of some that come on the more extreme side, like some power violence or grind bands that might have something like this on their lyric sheets. I feel like this would be like a slam line that someone would like put in their like, you know, brutal slamming death metal song, but you don't understand it. So I'm gonna go hardcore here. That's too generic. Let's go with hardcore. Is that your final answer? Yes. That is my final answer. That is a hardcore lyric. That was a hardcore lyric by Dystopia, not to be confused by Travis Scott's album, Utopia. <laughs> Probably the only hardcore band I know of. I knew it. When they are writhing in pain, their bodies broken and dying, they will realize their crimes. Dying and crimes almost rhyme, and that's why I would think it'd be a hardcore lyric, because it's almost cute. Is this the work of a crazed social reject that's about to do something insane and illegal, or is this just the singer of a hardcore band? Is there, is there like a phone a friend? No. This is the terrorist who wants to be a hardcore singer. How can you tell that they're a terrorist who wants to be a hardcore singer and not inverted? Because it's a little bit more poetic. Uh, and then a hardcore singer who wants to be a terrorist, they're just being a little edgy. Uh, I feel like a terrorist who wants to be a hardcore singer is more poetic than sort of kill. I think this is a poetic final quote from someone who probably killed someone who means a lot to them. This could come off of so many classic hardcore Manifestos. Releases. Oh yeah, that too. Yeah, no, this is like, you know, a lot of like vegan straight edge, very vindictive stuff. This is all over it. But at the same time, it could be like a great closing statement for a manifesto. I'm going to say just the way that this is written. I think it's lyrics because there's almost like a slant rhyme going on there. So I'm going to say lyrics. Ooh. Sounds poetic. It wasn't like Ted Kaczynski a, a writer. He wrote something. I'm going to go hardcore lyric. And they're writhing in pain, their body's broken and dying. That sounds really poetic. Let's go with let's go with hardcore band. That was a terrorist, and once again it was Elliot Rogers. He was poetic. He had a lot of built up uh angst and creative energy from not having any sex. It's it's, it's what happens. When you when you have no sex, you're more creative. And Elliot Rogers, I have to give it to him. That's a creative quote. Oh man. How do you feel like you're doing so far? I think I'm doing about as good as I expected. Feeling my soul with this one. Sorry, that was Elliot Rogers again. I see, I see. Sorry, God it was damn it! Rodge again. <laughs> this is awful. Our goal is only to destroy the existing form of society. Our goal is only to destroy the existing form of society. It's too on the nose. This is a hardcore singer, period. That's my lock, lock that answer in. This is someone who makes hardcore music. Is this someone that wants to change the way that we live as people? Or is it a 17-year-old? This one's less deep. There's not a lot to go off of, so I'm gonna go hardcore lyric again. Our goal is only to destroy the existing form of society. Terrorists. No. Hardcore. Hardcore. This seems like such like a, like a straight manifesto line, so... I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say lyric. That was a terrorist. Oh. That was from the Unabomber Manifesto. Damn. That was him. Yeah, he died in prison a few months ago. I live in North Carolina, I know. Shout out King. I'm sorry. <laughs> he killed dozens of people. He did. And he didn't do anything like productive towards society. He also used to set traps outside of like his like house to like kill random bikers because he mm -hmm. didn't like them. Bro thought he was Jigsaw. Bro thought he was Jigsaw. That's why you f***ing put these don't f*** with people in real life. You have to f*** with people on the internet because we'll f***ing take you out. This is a hardcore band because of all the f***s. If there's anything I know about hardcore music, I like saying f*** a lot. This just feels too targeted to be a lyric. Maybe it's from like a interlude or like a little speech or something, but I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say manifesto. This doesn't scream lyrics to me, but. I don't know if you've ever heard the Killdozer guy's like manifesto before he like Killdozed, but it sounds a lot like this. I'm gonna have to go with Hardcore Lyric. Hardcore? <laughs> that was a Hardcore Lyric by Tsunami. This is great. Do you like Tsunami? Next question. You're correct, that was by Tsunami. Fuck yeah. That was by Tsunami. What? Is that from, the, might be from, is it from their recent album? Jupiter, do you remember where that one was from? 
No. <laughs> All right. I'm the king. I rule the underworld. I make the money. I roll the nickels. The game is mine. If a terrorist said this, it's embarrassing. That's a very embarrassing quote to like, you know, be remembered by. I think it's a hardcore lyric because it has to be. That that is a hardcore lyric if I've ever read one. This could be straight out of like one like the big, big boy style hardcore. Got a lot of windmills and spin kicks going on. I think I'm gonna say I'm gonna say manifesto on this one. Okay, yeah. I, I feel that's like a, a like a Joker like terrorist line. I'm I'm gonna go terrorist quote. Dude, if this is a terrorist, this is funny as f I'm gonna go with terrorist. This was a tricky one. This was mm. a this was a terrorist. This is a Charles Manson quote. But Charles Manson was an artist, although not a hardcore artist. Charles Manson. Okay. All right. So I was kind of right because I, I, I kind of blurred the terrorist being poetic and the artist who has no sex line. I guess Charles Manson had. Never mind. Yeah, he had a cult. Charles Manson had sex. <laughs> This line was also sampled by Death Grips, who are also artists, but again, not hardcore artists. <laughs> we are gonna give you that one. Okay. You cannot satisfy your craving for shiny new toys you're advertised. We sneer at those that are content with servitude. Could it be from someone who is disgruntled by the economy because they're a terrorist, or simply a hardcore singer that is mad that they work at Burger King? Yeah, I can read both of these i'm gonna say I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go with my gut i don't i don't think these are lyrics i'm gonna say manifesto okay i feel this is another curveball because this just sounds like a straight up like i know you said you're gonna change them up a little bit but this just sounds like a straight up another joker line so i'm gonna go terrorist again well you know i can't be unbiased so i'm gonna go with that's probably a terrorist this is a hardcore lyric someone wrote this on their notes in their iphone ironic because that was the unabomber who definitely was not using an iPhone to write that down. We, we kind of double dipped on that one because it's a, it's a fan favorite. Hmm. Terrorists win. Terrorists win. That was, once again, the Unabomber. The mass a serial killer that you shouted out and referred to as a king. <laughs> it was a joke. <laughs> In this battle against the odds, only some will win. Take your struggle day by day, never holding back. Spit in the face of opposition, showing no remorse. That sounds like someone who's trying to really inspire a revolution. Or it could just be some dude with an out-of-tune guitar. <laughs> I think this is a hardcore lyric because of the take your struggle day by day, never holding back. I think that is very Instagram quotable. And I don't think a terrorist is looking for cute quotes. They're efficient. They're efficient. Yeah, th th this this seems like an Instagram quote from someone. Yeah, this sounds like this could be classic straight edge, like hardcore lyrics. I'm gonna go with lyrics for this. This feels like something like at the beginning of like a metalcore track, where they're like going on like some like a vegan straight edge metalcore like band. They're like their manifesto. So I'm gonna go a uh, hardcore lyric with this one. Sounds like incel stuff. Spin the okay. I'm gonna go with terrorist. That was a hardcore lyric by Trail of Lies. Awesome, I knew it. You're, you're pointing out some awful good points here. That's all I wanna say. I've pledged my life with the sacred oath to live by means of self-liberation. Is this a cocky, hardcore singer, or is this the last words of someone who is probably already dead? Or it could be a hardcore singer that's already dead. Already dead, right. This is a hardcore lyric. I have to be on brand and say this is lyrics. It, it, it could be a manifesto, but this is like classic preachy, uh, straight, straight edge, uh, activist sloganeering if I've ever seen it. So I want to say lyrics. I can already tell this person was either a person who played a lot of like Dungeons and Dragons or they were just, you know, strung out of their mind. So I'm going to go terrorist. Terrorist. Final answer. That was a hardcore lyric also by Trail of Lies. That was a, that was a double fake out we were going for. Yeah, yeah. The Trail of Lies. This is a terrorist. This is a this is early works of terrorism. That was a good one. That was another hardcore lyric, once again, by Trail of Lies. We're really milking them. It's a call-out post for Trail of Lies. 
I am not afraid of threats. As long as I'm alive, there will be no rest. This is a cocky terrorist. If this was a terrorist, they really thought they were gonna take, take a bunch out. As long as I'm alive, there will be no rest. I'm not afraid of threats. It's a rhyme. This is a hardcore lyric, threats and rest. If that is a terrorist, they're trying to be so cute. There's almost like a rhyme going on there. Am I gonna learn my lesson from last time? Um, I'm gonna say manifesto. This one I feel is very like misleading with how you think it's gonna be. I think you're going three for three on the terrorist in a row. Not terrorist, uh, hardcore. It just feels too cliche to say as a person. That sure does have a flow to it, as if it was from a song. It could also be from a terrorist manifesto, though. I'm, I'm locking in. It's terrorist all the way. I don't even know how many times I've guessed terrorist. That was Bin Laden. <laughs> really? Yeah, he orchestrated 9-11. Oh, I was born in 2003. I don't know about that one. That was Bin Laden. <laughs> he said that. He also orchestrated 9-11. Did he say that before 9-11, or was this post-9-11? Uh, I believe it was post-9-11. Oh. Okay, so yeah, he was he was big-headed by then. Damn. I think Bin Laden earned the right to say a quote that crazy, because he did do, like, the craziest thing. On American soil. On American soil. He did, like, he is the terrorist. We never wanted to be seen as a commodity. I refuse to be an object of a vision that blinds me. I refuse to be an object of a vision that blinds me. Commodity blinds me. Syllables, rhymes. It could also be that the original statement didn't rhyme and we changed one word to make it rhyme a little bit. Y'all yeah, are brilliant. I gotta really just go with my gut here. I think this is a hardcore lyric. It Ooh, this one's really tricky. I feel like, I feel like I've, I know lyrics like this. It's, this is ringing a lot of bells. Um, I'm gonna say lyrics. Could it be someone who is disenfranchised by society, by capitalism, or is it a European? That is a, that is a way to think about it. Are there any European hardcore bands? I've never heard of any. Oh, there's plenty. They have hardcore in Europe. They have terrorists in Europe too. I think we're gonna go uh, terrorists with this one. I don't know. Let's go with hardcore. That feels good. There's no period at the end. That's not a statement. That's a flow. Come on. That was a hardcore lyric by Verse. Verse? All right, well. Man, I'm, I'm losing it. I've learned that love is dead and that people just get and Are we sure this isn't the Danny Phantom sh again? I think I've heard this before. I think I've said this. Are you are you a terrorist or a hardcore singer? I don't know, I'm still, I'm st I'm still on a path of self-discovery. Love is dead, is that a motive for a terrorist? I feel like terrorist- It was for Elliot Roger. Terrorist. This is good. Um, I feel like this is very like angsty terrorist kind of vibes. Mm -hmm. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with manifesto on this one. Okay, this just sounds way too lyrical. It sounds like a lyric, but I feel like you're again throwing me off. It is for sure a terrorist line. Hardcore. That was a hardcore lyric by Dystopia. Honestly, I should have went with my gut there because I thought it was kind of cute as well. Wow. That was once again. A hardcore lyric by Dystopia, not to be confused with the animated motion picture Zootopia. It's a pretty good movie. Double dipped on Dystopia because they're also a fan favorite. So how do you think you did? I actually surprised myself. I think I, I think I knew more than I thought. I think I think I'm proud of myself. I think I might have gotten about six or seven. Would you like to plug your band or bands multiple? Quick plug for Straight Jacket. That's a hardcore band I started, as well as for Amplophobia, as well as Cascara. Our first show is September 29th in Richmond, Virginia. I feel I did middle of the pack. I think I over overthunk some of it. So what do you think that you've learned from this experience? That uh, no matter which way you're leaning, if you're out there enough, you could sound like a terrorist. <laughs> Jupiter, show him what he's won.